<laughs> Go on, Mary Jo. I didn't mean to speak over you. Yeah, it's really not just a name issue. And, and um, it, it's, uh, to me, one very interesting thing about this week. So, you know, on Monday, Microsoft invited a bunch of journalists um, to Redmond, go to Studio I think it's called Studio B, where they make the surface, right? So they let them tour, it around, tour around and write articles afterwards about it. If you look at the articles that were written, they're all about like the process of building the surface. Like they show you the laser etching equipment and how they do um, testing and all that. They don't talk at all in these articles about Windows RT. And what they saw was the Surface RT, right? So Microsoft is entirely, I think, trying to blur the lines. And that's not going to be good when consumers realize this. Um, but they're trying to blur the lines and say, you know, at Windows RT, it's just Windows 8, even though it's not called Windows 8. You know, it's just another Windows 8 skew. Um, and I think this is going to backfire on them because they are trying to blur the lines and make it seem like it's just one big happy Windows 8 family when it really is not one. Don't get me wrong. Windows RT, the, the the metro part of this, the thing that is identical between Windows 8 and Windows RT, is obviously the future of this platform. It's it's an important thing for the future. But you know, <laughs> but today, I mean, Windows RT is like Windows 8 with a lobotomy. You know, it's the, there are 1.3 billion people using Windows today. Every app that runs on those Windows computers will not run on Windows 8, RT. Every single one of them. Like, I, it doesn't, it just doesn't compute, <laughs> you know? I mean, I get that they need it. I get that this is the, the future. I, I get where it's going. But we live, to, we live in today, not the world of two years from now or five years from now, you know? I, I think that it's weird that there's a desktop because that le further leads to this confusion, you know, that when you see the desktop as a normal person, you, obviously you make that connection. Well, it runs these apps. I can... I can go download Skype or I can, well, obviously there'll be a Skype app, but I mean, you know, I can go download whatever app I need or a browser plug. You don't even think about it. Why, why would it not work? It's Windows, you know? That's always been the beautiful thing about Windows, this compatibility that they brought forward. So they don't do it this time. And, and there are strengths to that. There are good reasons for that. And eventually this will be in some ways the superior version simply because it doesn't bring forward the legacy Deadwood. Uh, and it's nice that they have this choice. I just think it's weird that on day one, They'll have an RT device, not a Windows 8 device. They'll sell the Windows 8 stuff, you know, software in the stores, and they'll let their partners sell Windows 8 devices. You know, it's just a weird mix of things, and it does, it does confuse the matter. You know, not just somewhat. I mean, a lot. And again, I'm I'm basing this on the, the, the now several hundred emails that I've gotten, where I just, I mean, they're depressingly simple-minded questions that that clearly betray that these people have no idea what they're talking about. Which is not their fault. I'm, it's not they're not stupid people. It's just Microsoft hasn't done a good job of explaining what's happening. Here's a new well, device. Get excited. You know, something that's going to happen next week, right? Um, we think because, uh, as we've said, Paul, Paul and I didn't go to this NDA thing on on uh, Monday at, in Redmond because we weren't invited. Um, but I hear from my sources that everybody who went to that got a Surface RT to take home and review, and they can. Come out with the reviews next Tuesday, I hear. Um, yeah, 23rd. You know, it's all NDA. We're not supposed to know this or talk about it. But <laughs> if these, if this does happen, since we're not under NDA, if this does happen, maybe these reviews, I hope, will make it clearer to consumers when they read it that what actually Windows RT is and what yeah. can work on these and what can't. Well, I mean, we should definitely go to the Surface page again because they have 